eBay sellers and welcome to the inaugural edition of eBay mega size sales of $350 or more. The sales in this video are coming from the super size sales thread in my Facebook group. There is not a separate place to post these. So make sure you post your mega sales under this thread and just a side note on the Facebook group, the name has changed to eBay the right way. For a long time, Facebook did not allow the name of a group to be changed. So finally, I was able to do this because it's open to anybody, not just stay at home moms. I know that was very confusing, but I was operating within the limitations of Facebook and the only way to change the name until recently was to start a new group, which that would be quite a hassle for everyone. So just be aware that the group is now eBay the right way to keep my branding consistent across my podcasts, YouTube, everything else I do. Okay, before we jump into the mega sales, I wanted to do a quick calendar check-in. Okay, students, pull out your calendar and take a look at January 29th. The task is, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. Don't be afraid to negotiate. And this is hard for some people to strike up a conversation at an estate sale, garage sale, even a thrift store if you want to negotiate a price because they might say yes but if you don't ask the answer is always no and I want to challenge you to practice this if you're not doing it because you could score some great items in bulk for a really low price and if this is out of your comfort zone I just want to challenge you to try it and see what happens because you know what when buyers make low offers or make offers at all on your eBay items that's negotiating so if it's being done to you there's no reason why you can't try this strategy when you're out buying inventory so that is your challenge of the week okay let's get into the mega size sales we're going to start with Jennifer Elliott. She said, this was a fun sale. I pulled this doll from the bottom of the plush. She was wrapped in Ziploc bags, but I could see the tag and it said Ruby Red Doll. I looked it up and they sell for $75 to $100 on average, so I grabbed it for $6.99. When I was home doing more research, I noticed her face didn't match the rest of the dolls from the company. Slowly I realized an artist professionally repainted her face, gave her new eyes, and made her a unique outfit and wig, making her one of a kind. I listed high and she sold in less than a week for $345 plus shipping. And I gave Jennifer a little leeway because her sale almost squeaked by at $345. So take a look at the doll and that is definitely a mega size sale. Okay, Eileen Cole. I picked up this set of the Chronicles of Narnia at my favorite charity used book sale for $7. I found it about an hour into the sale so I know many others missed it. It sold for $349 in a little over three months and I'm also giving Eileen a pass since she was within one dollar of the threshold <laughs> of the mega size sale so seven dollars sold for three hundred and forty nine Julie Gambino hit the three hundred fifty right on the nose purchased at an estate sale in fill a bag for ten dollars so maybe one dollar took five months, sold for best offer of $350. Gucci Envy Spray Men's Fragrance 
one dollar and sold for three hundred and fifty. Julie Harden, thrift store find, paid four dollars and ninety nine cents. Thought it was cool, but eh. Then I read the back and realized it was a one of a kind piece. Took less than a month to sell. This is a vintage seventies Peter Ash original needlepoint. Four ninety nine and sold for three hundred and fifty one dollars. Max Green. Found this vintage 1983 Crown Japan boom box at Goodwill for $10. Priced high at $4.99, ultimately took best offer of $360, buyer paid shipping, sold after three months. And so there you can see it is a boom box, portable stereo receiver, very 80s and she paid ten dollars it sold for three hundred and sixty sandy nix i paid thirty dollars for these at a church rummage sale they are four short of the complete set or the sales price would have been higher i don't normally do free shipping but i had to split the order into three boxes so i could lift it give the value i used Oh, she means given the value, the sale price. I used FedEx ground rather than media mail. Shipping was $75. Media mail would have only been a few dollars cheaper, but um, this is me interjecting. Media mail does not come with insurance, so this kind of thing you want to check out Pirate Ship or FedEx ground or UPS because you definitely want this dollar amount of a sale insured. This is a Harvard Classics Lectured Reading Guide, 1965. $30 and she sold this for $369.99. Michael Amaya. This game was included in a five box lot of video games and DVDs I purchased from Facebook Marketplace for $100. A few other games have already sold from that lot as well. It took about three days to sell. Disney Sports Basketball Nintendo GameCube 2003 Tested Authentic sold for three hundred and eighty five dollars nancy brown paid fifteen dollars at an estate sale had never been used or opened walked past the box several times and had seen numerous people bend down to look at it as i walked back through i stopped to look it over and saw exactly what it was for and snatched it up listed for about a month this is a security camera type deal. NIB, which is new in box, Ag Cam, Micro Agriculture Farm Tractor Camera and Monitor. $15 and sold for $399. Next up is Judy Kramer. Got this magazine from a friend who had kept it. It was her son's sold for four hundred dollars full asking price in three weeks the profits will go to her granddaughter's disney trip fund 1994 slam nba pro basketball magazine number one premiere issue larry johnson cover four hundred dollars for a magazine stephanie voza I found this new golf bag on a local Facebook selling group. It was so unique, I had to look it up. Turns out this brand is from Japan, can sell for hundreds of dollars, and has styles that are sold out. I paid $50 for it, and when we picked it up, the owner gave it to us in the original shipping box. Listed it for $425, and it sold in a few weeks for best offer of $375. That buyer didn't pay, so I relisted it and it sold a week later for another $375 best offer. This money goes 
into our son and future daughter-in-law's wedding fund. This is a new Sheriff golf bag, blue, black, silver, rain cover, skull, unique, flashy fashion. Lots of good keywords there. Okay, Diane Stumpf bought this stunning sculpture at my local thrift store in April for $50. Listed it in June for $7.99. Accepted best offer of $500 last week. It was quite large, measuring 18 inches wide by 12 inches tall. It had so many delicate break points. It was scary to pack and ship, but it made it safely to its new home. Happy with this sale. This is a vintage carved solid wood antelope gazelle statue. And she has OOK in her title. That stands for one of a kind. That is an acronym that people know <laughs> if they are buying or selling one of a kind items. So you don't have to spell that out in your title. You can use OOAK. And now I wonder how many people are going to say, I had no idea what that meant. Because you know what? The first few years I sold on eBay, I didn't know what it meant either. <laughs> and there weren't all of these um, acronym dictionaries. So that is your fun fact of the day. Anyway, $50 sold for $500. Rose Mundy purchased this beautiful antique Victorian Majolica planter or jardinier at auction for 23 Canadian dollars. And I probably butchered that word, M-A-J-O-L-I-C-A. -A. So if you want to correct me, go ahead. I'm ready for that. Anyway, listed on eBay for $629.99 for 201 days. Took a best offer of $525 plus shipping. So it's uh, an earthenware collectible. $23 sold for $525. Now we have Tez Kang. Free to me from my brother. He never opened the box, but I opened it to take pictures and verify contents. I disclose this in my listing. The goggles are used with drones. Sold in three days for full asking price of $599 and this item was free. Lara Christine picked up this Mont Blanc fountain pen at Salvation Army in July for $29.99. Ran a couple of auctions and had listed for $849 for a while. Rejected a couple of $500 offers to my father's chagrin. Relisted as an auction last week and sold for $610 plus shipping. I'm pleased, although I did think it would sell for more. So this was a $30 purchase that sold for $610. Dina Ross, my first time posting. I bought this at a local thrift store for $20 and sold with a seven day auction for $600. This is a rare Department 56 Christmas in the City Village Empire State Building. And it is supposed to light up. And she said interior light is not working and the color changing lights are not working right. But it's still sold for $600. So if you have things that don't work exactly as they're supposed to, or have issues, list them anyway. The worst thing that can happen is that they don't sell. Patricia Morales, free from estate sale, took a few months to sell, listed for $999, took best offer of $650 plus shipping. This is a photograph. Texas Tech Red Raiders football stadium photograph, black and white, measure 16 by 17. It was free and she sold it for $650. Tamsin Ramsey bought the lamp for $80 at a local auction and bought the shade separately for $50 from Facebook Marketplace. It's been listed for a year. Sold once last month but shipping wasn't available 
to the remote community where the buyer lived. Relisted and now sold for full listing price of $690 plus shipping. We will also reuse the shade that came with the lamp originally and use it with another lamp that suits it better. Okay, moving on to Licia Kelly. Bought for $10 at Restore. It's been listed for over a year. I have slowly backed down from the initial listing price and sent an offer for $800 this evening to the Looky Loos and took an offer of $760 after several hours. This is going to Japan via Global Shipping Program. This is a Lalique Intaglio Crystal Panel Mother Madonna Jesus Child Frosted Glass on Stand. So this is a fancy decorative collectible item to sit on a shelf that you can look at. <laughs> and it sold for $760 her cost was $10. Cami Higdon sold for a friend and she gave me $250 for helping her out. Bose Aviation Headset. There you can see it looks new in the box. $899 for a thing that her friend just had lying around the house. Okay, Diane Stumpf bought this pretty brooch at a local thrift store for five dollars found out afterwards that it was a Shriner New York vintage brooch potentially worth a lot of money put it on a seven-day auction starting at two hundred and fifty dollars within one minute I had my first bid seven days and 29 bids later it sold for nine hundred and ten dollars plus shipping that is one pretty price for a pretty brooch. And yes, this is absolutely gorgeous. $5 sold for $910. Okay, and we have a $1,000 sale. Jess Omen, free to me, a basement full of electronics being emptied out of a house down the street. Took a few months, sold for a best offer of $1,000. Western Electric 72A Frequency Meter. Dorcas Martin purchased this at a garage sale for $20. I knew it was at least silver plated. When I got home and did research, I realized I had sterling silver. I had it listed for $1,850 for about six months and finally took an offer of $1,215. I probably sold too low, but I was glad for the sale. My highest sale ever. This is Fine Arts Sterling Silver Flatware 62-piece set. $20, and she walked away with $1,215. Okay, Eli Erdman. I went to a yard sale a few weeks ago and bought a man's Star Trek collection. I told him if he had anything else he was considering selling to call me. The following week he calls me and informs me he has a 1985 G.I. Joe USS flag. Once I look up sold comps I'm practically salivating. <laughs> I went and purchased it for $400 came home and cleaned it up and got it online. It sold overnight for $1,250, the price I was aiming for, and the price they were actually selling for. It took us nearly 12 hours to pack it all up safely. We shipped it through UPS and learned it was being freight forwarded to Chile. My biggest sale and undertaking to date. And there was some conversation here. Tiffany asked why it took 12 hours to pack. And Eli said, this ship had hundreds of tiny parts that are extremely fragile, as well as huge pieces that I couldn't find boxes for. And then Tiffany said, that makes sense. It looks 
from the photo like it's several large pieces rather than hundreds of tiny parts. And that concludes our inaugural episode of eBay Mega Size Sales of $350 or more. And remember to be considered for inclusion in these videos, you must post your sales in the $100 Super Size Sales thread. I have seen some pretty large sales buried in the Money Making Monday threads, but unfortunately, there are usually 350 to 400 comments on that thread every week and I just don't get through every single one every single week. So make sure to put your sale in the right place so that I can find it. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching my videos and I would love your comments on this new feature. Have a profitable, productive, and fun day on eBay. See you in the next video. Bye.